where do you see the future of basketball? Because I, I you know, Man, you've been here already 15 years. Yes. And this is, I really need to know this before we end the show. Like, where do you see the future of basketball going? I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. Like uh, when I came to the league, it was like half court basketball. You, you pass the ball to the low post. You have real centers, you know, now you don't have it. All the fives are stretch five. Um, and uh, what were crazy, what, what is crazy was at that time we were up-tempo team. Phoenix Suns was up-tempo team. We run like the first seven seconds of the shot clock we would usually sh- to shoot. And we took the most threes, uh, um, average, the most yeah. threes in a game. You know how many threes we shot? How many? 18 a game. And that was the most up-tempo? The most. And now uh, <laughs> the teams are shooting 50 threes in one, in one game. <laughs> you imagine that. So now if you put that up-tempo Phoenix Suns team um, in, in, this, in this time, it we would be le- dead last. And now, I mean, it's crazy to see, you know, players like Yanis, uh, like Luka, Jokic, who are so skilled at, at that height. And, you know, they can play position through one to five. They can guard everybody. They, yeah. can, they can play every position. That's something that it's unbelievable to me. And that's how basketball involved, you know. It's, uh, you know, then the, um, you know, the French kid, uh, one Victor. Ma- Victor. Uh, Victor. I mean, I, really, I, I don't know. I think I, you know, you I know. went to sh- and saw him. Okay. In, uh, because he played the uh, same uh, thing with Costas. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, with uh-huh. Costas. And I went and saw him. I, I liked him. You know, just a little bit I saw him because I yeah. didn't get the chance to see him a full game. He got in a little bit. He was great, man. Just yeah, yeah. big body, the way he handled the ball. You know, it, it was great. I, I, I just hope I want to see him, you know, in the, in the upcoming. Uh, Years as well, yeah. because, you know, I saw him, it was a year and a half ago. Yeah, yeah, ago. of course. So, and, you know, hopefully he stays pain. healthy, yes. like everybody else, and, you know, he can follow his dreams and and became the best he can. You know? Yeah, hopefully it's going to be another successful European basketball as well. That, he can come in. Oh, when you ask, yeah, that's what changed. Oh, European, Europe. Right? Yes. <laughs> I mean, you know, back in the day you had a, I, I, I always going to cherish like a, Arvi, Ar, Arvida Sabonis, uh, Tony Kukoc, Drajan Petrovic, Marcionis, you know, those, all those European players that came to the league, they, it was not easy for them. Not easy. You know, they, you know, they always say, oh, Europeans are soft. You know, that was back in the day, everybody was saying that. And, uh, yes, you know, yes, to, they were, yes, they yeah, were. Yes. And, you know, to, to be here and to fight through it and kind of establish their identity and everything. And um, we have to, we have to cherish what they did for us, you know, because right now, I mean, what, the last three MVPs was Europeans. Four? Four. It's back Four. To back to back. It's back to back. So Yanis twice, no? And Nikola back to, twice. twice. Back to back to back, yeah. And yeah. then you, if you just look at the All-Star game, it's like, I don't know, maybe they should do, a, you know, international players versus Americans. Versus Americans, eh? That would yeah. be interesting. Yeah, it, it, it would be interesting. But I, I think, yes. It would be. It would yeah. be very interesting to see. I think you, you'd have to say, okay, it's uh, it's US versus the world. Yes, example, yeah, huh? exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, That's I why I that. say international. Yeah, yeah. international. Exactly, yeah, yeah. correct. I, I could see that. Yeah. I, could see that. I, I mean, I, I, obviously, I don't think they're going to listen to us and yeah, do yeah, it. Of course, but, but I could see that happening. It's not so, uh, impossible. But yeah, the game, the game is, you know, it's faster. Yes. It's faster. It's more trees. The players are more skilled. The players are more athletic. And what it changed, what it changed too, is like recovery and everything. You know, it's a, it's at the highest level. Then you know you have different machines, different, yes, different treatments, and that's kind of a prolonged career to some. You know, to the most of the players, and um, it's just evolving. Basketball is evolving, and uh, I think so. That's good. It's crazy that you said that. you've played 15 years, man. Yeah, in NBA, yeah, twenty-one professional. Twenty-one professional, interest. yes, more than my, more than half of my life. Unbelievable! Yeah. Again, I want to say thank you, thank you so much for everything you've done for the NBA. First of all, for your career and everything you inspired people, all the kids from Europe, just to be able to believe they can be here, man. It's so hard to yeah. be in the NBA and lead by example, you know, and and who you are as a person, and you know, being this family man and 
and you and your brother be able to achieve the dream playing yeah. together in the NBA, playing together in in, uh, in the national team. You know, it's it doesn't happen often. Yeah, you know, I, I'm telling you, don't don't Thank take you, this man. for granted. Thank you. No, I, I'm not because, like I said before, you know, soon it's gonna be over, and we always gonna have a good memory. So you know, that's, you, you that's, want to sh cherish those. Exactly. That's uh, and and again, I want to say thank you because you're one of those people who had made this dream possible and achieved the dream. But you have the story. You know, it's not yeah. just. You know, nowadays we're we're in a society that everybody wants to point at you and tell you like what to do to yeah, be successful. Yeah. You know, but there's so many people who have done it, yeah. but they've never and, said it. They've and, never said what they've yeah. done. And every everybody has their own story. Yes. You know, they just have to tell it. Exactly. And, Thank you. You know, I think so. That's important for, like you said, for for younger generation to hear it and try to kind of navigate them to the right path. And from there on, you know, they can do it. So. <laughs>